All right, what, what were you saying the issue was? <sighs> right there, my I feel like my left leg is like stiff. I can't move it <sighs> properly. I tried to do some sit-ups and all of a sudden it just got stuck and I couldn't move it for like 20 minutes. Okay, well that's the issue, Freddy. Why are you trying to exercise when you're stuck in exercising a body that's not even made to be an animatronic body? Well, it is, but it's made to literally stand there and wave for 24 hours a day. It's not made to lift weights or do sit-ups. You, you gotta to stop working out until we get back your regular body. I don't know. I feel like if I'm trapped in this body, I thought I'd make it better somehow. This one's not bio-organic, Freddy. You can't just make this body better. It's just metal. If I'm honest, I don't know if there's anything I can do to fix this. It's pretty bent up. Uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it, I, I guess, until we get your regular body back or something. Man, I just need those new parts to come in sooner. <sighs> well, um... That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Didn't you say it was just going to take a couple days when you were talking to a mechanic? That's what I thought, but they called me earlier today, and um, all those parts that you wanted are kind of on back order right now, so... Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, Michael kind of stole a lot of your backup parts, and look, I don't know when they're going to come in, so you're probably going to have to deal with this body for a little bit longer than we previously thought. I mean, unless you have any better ideas. I know I'm the techie friend, but I can't do a whole lot without parts. I think I have an idea. I'm not gonna like it though. What's your idea? I have to call the one person that I never wanted to call about this situation because this person will forever hold it over my head that something like this happened. Um, upper management? Bruh. My brother. Why would he hold it over your head, Freddy? He's your brother. He should understand. Because normally he's the one making dumb mistakes. I guess that's true. I mean, he did marry Toy Chica. Not that that's a mistake, but have you met her? To be fair, they're happy. She's psycho, but... Fair enough. I mean, if they're happy, they're happy. You are kind of too, though. Well, I'm psycho in a fun way. And plus, that's why Glamrock Bonnie likes me. Could be the same reason Freddy likes Chica, so... I guess. Fair enough. All right, well, call your brother, and if he has any grand ideas on how to get parts, then let me know. Let me call him up. I'll put him on speaker for us. Let's see what he says. All right. Uh, pick up, pick up. Hey, bro, how are you doing? Hey, you're on speakerphone right now um, with Circus Baby. Hey, Freddy, uh, how are you doing today? Uh, doing okay. Uh, took Francine to her, one of her first play care areas. Oh, that's cool. She immediately set fire to the toiletry area. Oh, so their daughter is psycho too. Got it. Um, look, uh... What did you just say? Nothing. We actually called for a specific reason. Um, Glamrock Freddy here has something he wants to tell you. <laughs> Thanks for throwing me under the bus. Well, you had to tell him one way or another. <sighs> What did you do? <laughs> All right, you have to promise not to hold this over me for the rest of my life. I make no promises. He's definitely not gonna promise that. He's your brother. <sighs> so, you remember the whole kerfuffle that happened about finding out that we're not actually brothers, we're cousins, all that? Yeah. Found out that Phantom Freddy did the whole, oh yeah, I'm your father, like he stole it from Star Wars. It's funny, you kind of sound like regular Freddy when you go, I am your father. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, what about that? Well, he reappeared. Oh God, what did he do? He didn't do anything at first. Well, he ended up doing a little something, Freddy. Just getting to the meat and the potatoes. I told him to leave, he left, but then I figured, I need to know more about my mother that disappeared, so he made a deal that we would find her together, and that I said that I would trust him. You did what?! Oh my god, you don't say that to people! That's a very dangerous thing for magic users! Yep, he just outright told him, and, uh, Phantom Freddy may or may not have taken over his body. Oh god! Yep. Wait, how are you talking to me right now? Uh I did a little uh, circus baby magic, if you will, and um, well, I went to Golden Freddy, got Glamrock Freddy's shadow form resurrected, and then I took the shadow form and I put it into a bunch of different animatronic bodies, and we landed on, uh, you know that when you walk into the pizza plex, that little animatronic Freddy that waves to you? The one that creepily stares into oblivion? Yep. That, uh, the creepy one that stares at you is definitely the one. Can you look the other way or something? Um, Are you kidding me? Okay, look, look, I put him into there, and now, I mean, 
It works, but it's definitely not a long-term solution. So we're calling to see if you have any suggestions. I mean, you're the magic doer aside from Golden Freddy and Golden Freddy's power is kind of tapped right now, so. That explains why I haven't been able to get in contact with him. Is he in some kind of forced sleep? I'm not really sure how that works. He just said that basically to bring Glamrock Freddy back, he was going to use all his leftover power. And plus, I mean, it is October, you know, he's fighting all those crazy Halloween monster boys, so. The eldritch horrors that try to break through. Yes, that thing. Look, is there anything you can do, Freddy? <sighs> Unfortunately, Phantom Freddy stole majority of mine and Shadow Freddy's power. So until I can find a way to recover that or steal it back, He's actually stronger than me. Great. But there is a way for Glamrock Freddy to get his body back. Oh, what is it? You're not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like anything that has to do with this situation, but if it can stop Freddy from complaining about his knees 24 seven, I think it's worth it. The doorway you opened up and that Phantom Freddy took is a two way street. The fact that he stole your body means that the door that you originally opened to him is still open, meaning you can force yourself into the bot into your own body and kick him out just like he did you. That does make sense. We're just gonna have to get him here in order to do so. Hold on. I'm sensing a butt in there. But if Phantom Freddy is successfully able to repel him, I think it may destroy his soul. Oh. If this doesn't work, we could lose my brother forever. I guess then it comes down to your decision, Freddy. Are you sure there's no other way? You wouldn't need someone to overpower him. And as I said, Phantom Freddy stole my power, and Dad is kind of out of commission. And during that time, we don't know if Phantom Freddy's working on some kind of weird way to make himself either immune to our dad or stronger than him, if that's even possible. Yikes. So, this is literally one of my only ways then. I'm sorry, brother. If I call you after this, then you'll know it's been, it was successful then. Yeah. Good luck. I believe in you, brother. All right. Okay. So today just got uh, juicier than ever? Yeah. I don't know how we're going to lure him back. I have a feeling that you just came up with an idea of how to lure him back. Do you remember what my brother just said? Getting stronger than Golden Freddy? Sure. I'm pretty sure he's looking for a way to do that. And there's only one way I know how to do that. Ow. My dad spoke of a book a long time ago called The Evil Tome. A book he created. The Evil Tome? Yeah. Essentially, it's a spell book that contains all the evil spells my father had learned and gathered over the years and put it into one book. Well, that sounds like a bad idea to begin with. Why are you going to have a literal book full of evil spells? It used written magic. What written magic is, is like erasing the traces of all of it into one source. So basically, he eliminated the knowledge of all those spells, but he couldn't just destroy the knowledge and he had to put it all into a book. So what are you going to do with this book? You can't give that to Phantom Freddy. I think I can lure him with it, with the knowledge of its location. Oh, so what? You're going to try and just get him here by telling him you know about this book? Yeah, but I don't think that'll be enough. Even if I force myself into him, I feel like he'll be easily able to repel me. Unless he's distracted. Oh no. Something tells me that's where I come in. I think if you get behind him, and distract him enough, he'll be more focused on you, unable to repel me, and I think that'll be able to work. It'll give me the opportunity to basically kick him out and get my body back. Or I might have another idea. Oh? Just follow my lead. I think we'll know what to do. The main thing is, uh, how do we get him here? Well, he knows when I call his name, so... Phantom Freddy, I need to speak to you. And he's not here. Nothing. He's probably not going to come unless you have something that he wants. All right. Father, I know where the book you're looking for is. Oh. I know where the evil tome is. Are you sure dingling the evil tome in front of your father is the best way to get his attention, Freddy? It's either this or we go out searching for him. Do you have any idea how hard that we defined? No, I just... Ugh. Okay, fine. When is he gonna get get here? Oh, um, there was a knock on the door. Meaning he was still watching me. Um, he's letting himself in. Cool. Uh, hi. 
Hello over there, my friends. I still have keys on that body. Hello, son. Hello. Circus baby. Hi, again. Mm, this is awkward. So, what is it that you want from me this time? I have something you may want, father. I think you know exactly, uh, considering you didn't get here until he started talking about the evil tome. <laughs> Ooh, the tome. The book, you know, that Golden Freddy compiled of all the spells they found were a little too dark, mean, or evil. Yes, they would do much better in my hands than Freddy's. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly why he called you here, because uh, obviously Golden Freddy doesn't want anything to do with dark magic, and Freddy here doesn't have any magic, so... Yeah. <laughs> yes, it would be quite useless in your hands compared to mine. Yeah, it, it really would be. I mean, think about it, uh, I'm no good with magic. Throughout all my life, I didn't have access to magic, so in my hands, that kind of book would be useless. Yep, just give it to the scummy phantom so he can, what, plot world domination or something? <laughs> uh, don't well, worry about me. You know what, Circus Baby, you need to respect him more. What? He may be twisted, but he's still my father. What the heck is that supposed to mean, Freddy? You know what he's done. I know, but he's still my father. I have to show him some kind of respect. What's a good son? Uh, thank you, father. Gross. Now, uh, the book is uh, it's in a hidden location, actually. It's in your cake compartment, isn't it? Not in that cake compartment. Uh. No, in, in your cake compartment, because that's where you keep your most valuable items. I think you, uh, you just have to, like, crouch down, get really close, and, um... Reach in and grab it. Yeah, I, with these stubby arms I have now, I can't exactly reach in there. No, we made him another body out of an animatronic, one that just, like, waves, because you stole his body, so. It does not matter to me. Okay, well, just, if you want the tome, then reach in and grab it. That's all you gotta do. All you have to do is promise never to get near us again. Ever. If I can get the tome, then that is perfectly fine. Now, where, oh, where is that little tome of ours? Uh, at? it's right in the back. Just reach mm. in and grab it. <laughs> I got it, Freddy. He can't move. All right, all you have to do is get your body back and quick. You. Okay. What are you doing? I'm getting my body back. <laughs> Whoa. Um, wait. Okay. Animatronic body. Um, it's dead. Uh, Hello? Uh, hello? Oh! Please tell me you're Freddy. Uh, yeah, uh, it's me. Thank goodness. I cannot uh, believe that stupid plan worked. I basically tore into him like I was a mad bear. Uh, yeah, and I guess uh, the poor little waving animatronic is just here that's an empty husk once again probably how it should be but wait, wait, wait. if you're here then where's phantom freddy where, where did he go i don't know it's like imagine we were in a car right a gta style where i opened the car door and i kind of like pulled him out of the driver's seat except i don't know where he landed maybe i pushed him back into the aether where spirits are supposed to go i mean that would be great and all that just sounds very much too easy but at the very least, I mean, you have your body back. I don't see him around here, so if he landed outside, I'm pretty sure we see him right now, so... Maybe we can hope that I forced him to the afterlife, maybe. When he forced me out of my body, I went straight to the afterlife, so... We've got a point there. I guess let's just talk more before we trust random phantom guys with, you know, bad motives. Yeah, no kidding. What should we do with the animatronic? I guess we'll give him back to parts and service and send him back up to what he was supposed to be? Yeah, we, we could do that, or... What do you want? Well, I'm just saying I, I can make animatronics do cool things, so like... We you want to like make him into a butler, don't you? I was thinking more like we put a maid dress on him and have him serve me ice cream? No. Why? That's still my face on there! Well, it's a crummier version of your face. 
And plus, I helped you get your body back. You owe me. Fine. Yes. But no maid dress. At least do a butler outfit. Okay, sexy butler outfit. Got it. Uh, I'm gonna start working on this right away. 